very beautiful. In two days' time, there will be a young talents competition from the train city for whoever loves painting and sculpturing. Great! I will make a colorful still life painting. I have a wonderful idea. I will fashion a vase from clay. We should, we draw, should a draw a landscape, landscape. A, forest, a forest, maybe, maybe or a or river. A river. <laughs> So what are you going to do then? Whatever we do, we are going to win first place, I say. See you at the competition, guys. Sam Sparky, so what are we going to draw all mold? Well, the first thing we do is see what others are creating. And then we shall decide. Painting is all about the brushwork. The more touches you make, the better it gets. Not enough dashes. I need more... I need much more strokes than that. <gasps> yeah, so Ethan is a pretty strong competitor. We could never paint such a great piece as him, guys. Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna draw a forest. And I'll draw a river. Sam Sparky, wait, wait! The girls are strong painters too, I'm afraid. We couldn't paint such a great landscape. Oh, guys, does hay soak up rain fast? Well, wait and see. There is an indisputable similarity. Yet something is missing. The handles are missing. <laughs> That's weird. It's exactly the same as the picture. Well, guys, George is excellent with clay. We would never manage a pot like this. Hey! Well, that's a whole different story. Now it looks almost the same. How could we get the first place if they're all so talented, Sam Sparky? I just figured out a really good idea. That's oh amazing. My. What a resemblance. Where's Sam Sparky himself? Uh, you know, Sam Sparky isn't feeling well. He couldn't make it here. That's too bad. The first prize goes to the bronze Sam Sparky statue. Congratulations! <laughs> oh. oh, please forgive us. We just wanted to surprise everybody. But unfortunately, we failed. Oh, no, you didn't fail to surprise us. <laughs> <laughs> we shall give a first place prize to all the participants for their talent and their creativity. One, two, three, four, five. Ouch! Uh, stop it right now. We are going to gather a team together. A soccer team. Oh. Wow, I want to be on the team! So do I. Well, theoretically, I really want to be on the soccer team as well. Well, I'm sure you can imagine that only the best trains will be in my team, George. Which means only those who are like me. Fantastic! Do you uh. think you're like me? Yeah! Yeah! I also like speed! Ha <laughs> ha! Yoo-hoo! I'm fast as well. It's just that I'm... Well, I'm not as fast as you are, Sam Sparky. Okay. Yay! You Yay! are on the team. Yes, all right. Arnold? My wheels look just like yours. 
But the most important thing is that I am brave. Not as brave as you are, my friend. Okay. You are on the team as well. Uh, uh. Hmm, and you? Why do you think you are like me? Oh. Sam Sparky, you know I am not like you. But science doesn't deny that I may be like you. I promise not to let you down. No can do. I won't take you. I don't need trains who aren't like me. <laughs> oh, now, come on, George. They are only a few silly <laughs> little trains. They have the same brains as a boxcar does. You're way smarter. <laughs> well, I... I wanted to be on the team as well. We'll gather our own team and we'll kick their wheels. What do you say, George? Come on, that's right. What, so now everyone must be like you, Ethan? Oh no, just the opposite. No similarity. We need differences in our team. How different from me are you, huh? Everything. I am bigger than you, slower than you, I go to bed earlier, and I don't like books about pirates. I'm totally different from everyone. I study differently, I say intelligent words which no one understands mostly, and, well, as for soccer, I play differently. So it proves that you <laughs> should be in our team for sure, George. Great, mm -hmm. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great, and I'll be the referee. <laughs> All right. Oh, huh? huh? Arnold can't reach the ball because he is really fat. Fantastic will lead the ball, but he will make a mistake. Ethan and Anthony will take the ball from him and will start an attack. Sam Sparky will try to intervene and he will kick the ball over here. So according to the calculations that I made here, if I stay right over here, I will surely score a goal. Quick, Come on. quick! Hurry, give me the Come ball! On, guys. I want to right here! Yeah. Come on, Ethan! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Goal! Goal? Hooray. Hooray! Yeah! Yeah! One minute is left till the game is over. Hey. Come on, come on, do it! Give me the ball! Go, go, kick it! Yeah, oh. go, go! Come on, guys! Oh. 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 Goal! Yay! Oh. Oh. We hit it! Go! We just lost, that's it. Hooray! Hooray! We, won! we won! We won! What were you doing? What you told me? You said that. Hey, cheer up, guys. You know, it was just a game. But remember, being different is much, much better than being similar. That's, That's right! right. <laughs> Tomorrow we have school. The same thing every day. Except the holidays. We're tired. Yes, but we learn a lot of new and useful things there. Well, maybe I don't want to learn anything new and useful tomorrow. How about that? I wish school was canceled. Well, what do we need to do for that to happen? There must be some kind of disaster. What must it be? A disaster. It's when something is wrong with the weather. A heavy snowfall or a hurricane. Ah, uh, but then that will never happen. George, you can make something to make a hurricane, can't you? I'm not sure. Well, I think you can. George, please try. <laughs> I will try. I will call it Windy Multifunctional Ordinary. Wow, cool! Let's turn it on! But I'm not sure I have the power. Come on, the bell's gonna ring soon. Oh, 
I need to stop watching movies before I go to sleep. Hey, stop. Oi, oi, oi. I think we went overboard with the wind. George, can you slow down the wind? Good job, kids. You came in first. <laughs> hey, Captain. Are you going to come off of watch now? It's time to sleep now. In this severe storm, I cannot bring myself to leave the command bridge. What if anybody is in distress, Mom? But you're so sleepy, dear. Your cruiser might hit a sea cliff. So now it's time for you to go to bed. Hmm. Huh. Mom, it's not a cruiser, it's a freaky. Help! SOS! We are attacked by pirates! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> They've been attacked by pirates! <gasps> Boatsman! Oh, oh! Boatsman, reporting as ordered. Why are you hiccuping? Well, I, uh, oh, oh, I've got seasickness. Seasickness? How could you? You're the chief boatsman. You know you should really look after your captain. Interesting. Where are all the sails? <gasps> you ordered to wash them, Captain, remember? They haven't dried since yesterday. <laughs> A ship! Ahoy! <laughs> All hands on deck! Let's get ready to attack, everybody! Board them! Hey, look! Pirates! Whoa! I think they've spotted us. So what are we doing now? If we don't look at them and ignore them, they'll simply pass by us. The frigate disappeared! It was a ghost ship! Okay, listen up. We'll sneak to the pirate ship and save all the hostages. What if they see us? Pirates sleep just like babies. Just don't make any noise. Who's there? We are the Little Mermaids. Hmm. them And this is to stop the 
the pirates from kidnapping people. Never mind! Outrageous! You will pay me for everything! And I will report you, you hear me? Oh, Captain, you have saved me! You are so amazingly brave! George, have you been sleeping by the table all night long? You woke me up! Ah, all my dreams seem to end with a cliffhanger, yet a tiny piece of the story is still on. Good morning, Vera. Good morning, Anthony. George is up to something again. Today, we are going to study a compass. Just look here. The blue needle always points to the mountain, so you will always know where the mountain is and where the lake is. I don't need a compass. I can see the mountain and lake from here. If you want my opinion, this is a really useless device. It's beautiful, though. I want to remind you that we are here because I've read the book How to Become a Pathfinder for three days. We need a compass in order not to get lost in the forest. But why would we get lost anyway, George? Maybe Ethan can never get lost, is that it? Guys, mm -hmm. stop it. You think I can't get lost? Let's go right now and I will show you how I can get lost. And you can't get lost on rails. Ugh. They always lead to the city. Ha! Ha, 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 ha. Mm-hmm. Ew, it's way too sunny right now. Maybe we will get lost in the evening, George. Will Pathfinders only get lost during the day? Uh-huh. We need to get off the rails. Ugh. Right, and now you have to close your eyes, go a few yards with eyes closed, and we will definitely get lost after that. I assure you of that, guys. <laughs> Ow! Oh. I'm tired of this stupidity, guys. That's it. I'm going home right now. Oh, where's the way back home? Hooray! We got lost, guys! Now your compass is gonna help us. So the mountain is over there and the lake is over there. That's all very good, but can your compass show the way home? Hmm? Hmm. Help us, somebody! We're lost! We're lost! The main thing is to orient yourself in the woods. I read that moss grows in the north, so north is over there. Anthony, you will oversleep. Huh? Moss? Okay, the north is over there. <laughs> or maybe there? Uh, oh. If we need to know where to go, we need to remember where we came from. Okay, we went to the forest. The sun was shining into my eyes. The sun, of course. If the sun was shining in your eyes, it means that we were going towards the mountain because the sun comes from the mountain in the morning. Guys, if we want to get back home, we need to go the opposite direction. Ugh, towards the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Good we had the compass. <laughs> oh. So it's good we had the sun, right? Mm? It's so good George hasn't read the book How to Be a Lost Pathfinder yet. <laughs> 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 Ethan, why aren't you going to play outside? Mom, am I beautiful? Ethan, you are the most beautiful little train to me, my darling. 
I'm beautiful to you because you're my mom. But what about the others? Ethan, outer beauty is not the only thing that matters. Good deeds matter. Politeness, kindness, and honesty. You need them to be beautiful, my love. Is that it? I'll go and do something good to become the most beautiful little train in the whole city. What? <sighs> it's beautiful, huh? Oh, Ethan, you scared me. I think its beauty is stunning. What, more than mine, you mean? Ethan, you're kidding me. You can't possibly compare yourself with this microscope here. What microscope, George? Ethan, are you sure that one good deed is enough to become beautiful? You might need two good deeds for the whole body to be beautiful. One should be enough to get beautiful eyes. Hello, Mrs. Dove. Can we help you to get to your wagon home, please? Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. You are so very nice. You see, George? We are nice before we actually did something. Can you imagine mm. our stunning beauty after mm. we do good deeds? Oh, the wagon is so heavy. <sighs> Hey, look at me. Am I now more beautiful than before? I think that your left eye got a bit wider. Oh. Then a wagon is not enough to make me beautiful. Mrs. Dove, can we please clean up your house? Ooh! I completely forgot about being polite, honest, and kind. I just wanted to say, Mrs. Dove, thank you very much for everything. Thank you so much for letting us clean your floor, Mrs. Dove. Thank you very much, boys. I appreciate it. All the best to you, Mrs. Dove. And bon appetit. <coughs> and good night to you. Oh. <gasps> All right, the good deeds are done, and we've been polite. Honesty is left. It's one serious trail. Can we clean a floor again instead? Okay, then. I broke a glass, I was late for school, I didn't brush my teeth, I haven't done my homework, I didn't listen to my mom. And I forgot to clean my room and... Well, okay, it's time for my turn now. Back in the time when I was a little train, I was late for class once. <laughs> All right, then. I guess now it's time for kindness. And then, George, beauty will be ours. Whoa! Guys, I'm sorry. It was an accident, I swear. Oh, Arnold, you're such a... Great guy, Arnold. Mm -hmm. You hit me just a little bit and my bruise is so small. Are you hurt at all, Arnold? Hey, sorry, guys. Uh, I'd better be going. <sighs> Hello, kids. Well, then, isn't it a lovely day today, eh? Hello, General. Uh, can you tell us something? We've been kind, honest, and polite from the beginning of the day to the end of it. When shall we become more beautiful? It is very good to be honest, polite, and kind, that's for sure, of course, dear boys. But one day is not enough to become beautiful. You need to be like this forever, every day for the rest of your lives. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Uh. Oh, Ethan, as a matter of fact, I think your other eye got wider, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, George! Are you coming to play? Hey, George! Poor George. George got an electric shock. <sighs> Scary, isn't it? This is my new invention. It's called George 2000. He's my twin robot. He will do the house cleaning for me. Oh, George! You're a genius! How do you manipulate him? <gasps> With a remote. Just see this. George is good for nothing. <gasps> uh, sorry, wrong button. Here, George is the most hardworking little train in the world. 
I think the first phrase was a bit more accurate. So you wanted to play outside? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, George, house cleaning mode. Okay, let's go now. Well, well. The great Professor George. He created something special, a robot. Good afternoon. Uh, what is going on here, eh? Can I water the flowers, please? Kid, watering flowers is a very serious business. Uh, but I see you are a very responsible little train. Why don't you go on and do it? Uh, and in the meantime, I will take a nap. And I can really use one. What's going on now? Grandpa Billy, I brought you some cakes. Grandpa Billy, what's going on here? Whoa! Mm. Who's disturbing that piece here? It's George. It's George. It's all his fault, I tell you. Well, well. Where is this naughty kid, then? There he is. Stop him now. <laughs> Dear me, they're identical. Now tell me who made the mess in Grandpa Billy's garden. It was all my twin robot. Honestly, it's not my fault at all. No, he is my twin robot. Liar, you are the twin. I am George. No, I am George. No, I am. 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 I am. No, I am. Catch me. No, I am. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you drop this? Run! <laughs> oh, George. What have you done now? Uh, now I know for sure, guys. I guess I have to clean my room by myself. Ethan, wake up. Do you remember you have to clean your room today, darling? <sighs> you know, I did not want to clean it today, so I did it yesterday. Good job. You just forgot about the calendar. Today is the 13th day of the month. I guess I got up from a wrong wheel. I'll try it one more time. Hmm? <laughs> what a pity, Ethan. You're a champion in making a mess. It wasn't me. Today is the 13th day. I have to warn everybody to be careful today. Uh, Ethan, do you love condensed milk? I'm going to cook some today. Mrs. Dove, be careful, don't fall, cause today is the 13th. Uh. Oh no! My milk! 
But I told you to be careful. Mmm. -hmm. I will have sugared coal with sugar icing and sweet syrup. George, are you sure that much sugar is good for you? And I want a fuel ice lolly for myself, please. It's so delicious. No, wait! My milk! It's strange. George, why do you look so pale? Are you choking? Relax, don't panic. I will save you, my friend. Hey, are you feeling better, George? You have to be really careful. Today is the 13th day of the month. Condensed fuel with sugar. Do not shake explosive. But, but, I think that's Mrs. Dove's milk, and she was going to cook it. It's going to explode now. Let's warn Mrs. Dove. La 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 la. I'm cooking the best condensed milk in the city. Here I am. Oh, what are you cooking today? That's a very tasty, sweet surprise. Too late. She's already cooked it. <laughs> Darling, the surprise was great. I told you to be careful today. It's the 13th. But the condensed milk is really delicious. Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.